no tranquil German Valley this one. At its core, it's high tech. It may not be Copertino or Palo Alto, rather Waldorf and Heidelberg. This doesn't really look like Silicon Valley to you, you're absolutely right. We're in the heart of Heidelberg here, a city dating back to Roman times. And this hotel behind me, Hotel Ritter, is more than 400 years old and consequently has seen many industries come and go. But the area between the Rhine, Main and Neckar rivers is home to SAP, Software AG and 350 more technology companies, making this Europe's biggest software cluster. And the German government wants it to grow, pouring in more than $100 million of fresh funding to link the company's existing software applications. The big companies, they could do it themselves. They don't need the small ones, but the cluster with a huge number of smaller companies is only created when the big ones open themselves and take the small ones on board. With almost $18 billion in revenue last year, Germany's technology cluster dwarfs its closest European rivals in Paris and London. But it's small when compared with just one real Silicon Valley rival. Local residents are surprised by the brain power in their midst. The only thing I'm aware about is that there are lots of people in town working for SAP. I'm studying theology. I'm far away from that. <laughs> no, not at all. No, that's new to me. I'm hearing that for the first time. But uh, right, SAP is nearby, isn't it? Yes, I vaguely remember that. <laughs> so while Germany's Silicon Valley is catching up, it is still in terms of size and image lagging its big rival in California. Philip Enns, Bloomberg News in Heidelberg, Germany.